Hey everybody, it's Kendra. Welcome to my channel if you're new and welcome back if you've been here before. My video today is going to be a super fun, easy, quick DIY craft project. Kids love this and it makes a really, really fun gift. So I'm going to be showing you how to make these cute little uh, magnets out of lids from jars. So because it's Mother's Day, I wanted to do something related to me. I'm not a mama, but I'm a kitten mama. So I got a picture of my Kobe there. This is one of my kimchi. You can decorate these in all different ways. It's super easy, super fun. Kids love it. This is me and kitten daddy on adoption day. Best day ever. And then this is me with, with my babies when we decided to take them outside one day and that did not work very well. Oops, there's a sequin on little kimchi. There we go, that's better. Anyway, this is really fun to do with kids. I have done this, I think I only have done this once with kids. Um, did it with my friend's kids and they love this. But these are really, really cute. They look great on the fridge and you can totally have fun decorating these any which way you like. Okay, anyway, let's get into it. All right, so here's an idea of what you are going to need for your frames. Obviously, you're gonna need some type of lids because this forms the base of your frame. And then you're also gonna need some photos. Um, these are actually just cut out from an old calendar I had made for my husband because I don't have a color printer and I really need some photos of my cats. Also, you're gonna need some type of magnets um, and then something to glue the magnets on with. I like to use a hot glue gun. You could also use super glue. And finally, you're gonna need something to embellish and decorate these frames. So I actually really like to use nail polish. Um, I've got so many fun colors. I don't actually have that many colors of acrylic paint right now. Um, so nail polish is perfect. It dries fast, it's shiny, and you can also just dump in some glitter or sequins. Also, you could maybe use some beads or other types of jewels. I've got some glitter here. You could also use Mod Podge to attach the, uh, the glitter, the sequins, whatnot. All right, so first of all, what I like to do is figure out which lid I'm going to use with which photo, just to figure out sizing. Then what I like to do is take the lid, put it over the photo and actually cut, um, you know, trace a line, and then I'm gonna cut this out. I am gonna cut slightly smaller than what I actually drew, because obviously this is going on the inside of the lid. It's nice to do this before it's decorated because if you do it after, then you risk, you know, you have to wait till it's dry and sometimes um, you might just get some glitter all over the place. All right, so I've got my pictures all cut out and figured out which lid I'm gonna use. Now I can decorate. So I think what I'm gonna do now with this one, for example, my Kubi, um, I kinda like this gold on the outside. I think I'm just gonna leave that plain, but then I'm gonna do some painting kind of on the inside just to make it a little bit prettier. Now, a reason it is nice to actually cut out the pictures and sort of figure out what you're gonna do in advance is so you can sort of coordinate your painting colors and your decorations to really match with the photos. So I think Kobe looks really nice in red, so I'm gonna use red for this one. And maybe I'll just do a little bit of gold glitter in here to kind of funk it up a little bit. This one I think kimchi would be very pretty in purple. So I'm just using a little bit of this E6000 fixative. I actually did try using Mod Podge to uh, put this picture in, but it did not work very well. It wasn't thick enough. Um, so I'm just gonna use some of that stuff, put in my kube, and then let that dry. Another thing you could do is put on some sequins, again, using this E6000 glue. Just gonna put some of this along the outside and then stick some sequins on. I think it might actually be helpful to just roll them. So I would recommend if you want to use beads, use a hot glue gun. Um, I feel like it'll just sink the, the beads really deep down into the glue. They have less of a chance of falling off that way. Et voila, that is what I came up with for my four little frames. They're all a little bit different. Now all I need to do to finish them off, I'm just gonna put a little bit of hot glue on the back and push on a magnet. And there we go, cute little refrigerator magnet. So anyway, there you go. Super, super easy craft project. Doesn't require a lot of materials and you can make this as elaborate or as simple as you like. So happy crafting and happy Mother's Day to all of the mamas out there. So thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video.